What's up guys, welcome back, trickle back to another video. And in today's video, we are chilling with my 335i that I guarantee most of you guys don't know about. So before I actually get into it, um, and before I actually detail it and get it, everything else sorted on it, let me go ahead and just give you guys a quick cinematic. You got me down again. So as you guys can see, what we have here is a 2011 335i N55 M Sport package from the factory with red leather interior from the factory. And the good news doesn't actually end there. This bad boy in particular, this exact model, not only was serviced at BMW, it has BMW stickers from the front, BMW stickers in the back from BMW San Francisco, that's what it says, but also this bad boy only has 57,000 miles. Now, honestly guys, we've been doing a lot of videos with the build series and stuff like that. And I used to make videos like this where I kind of show off a really, really, really cool car like the 335 IS and things like that. This video is not gonna solely only be talking about this car, but I just wanna show you guys how unique of a car this is and actually getting in possession of one is just, it's really cool because I do some flips here and there on the side, as you guys know. For example, this 328 is one of them. This 328 uh, needs a lot of work and I've just been working on left and right. Mostly aesthetically, mechanically, I think it's perfect. This one was actually the opposite. It did have a little bit of a mechanical issues when we got the car. I got it for a pretty good deal and I actually dumped a lot of money into this engine. Maybe it has new valve cover gaskets, new oil filter housing gaskets, new fluids. Um, new AC recharge, so everything is graving the Navy in terms of this car mechanically and aesthetically. Honestly, the paint is in immaculate condition. You guys know that your boy's on a mission to get an Audi R8 by the end of this year. So obviously the E91 M3 is a build, an amazing build, and I'm focusing on that. And also this E90 M3 is also gonna be a restoration project, but you guys already know the E90 M3 is gonna be used um, to go towards the R8. And uh, this bad boy I've been working on behind the scenes uh, as, as well as this 328. And uh, this bad boy, all funds are gonna be going towards the R8 as well. Well, the 328 funds are actually gonna be going towards the E91 uh, because I am anticipating paint costs are gonna get very expensive very quickly. So yeah, if I did the bare minimum on YouTube and just focused on one build, I won't be able to afford literally everything that I'm doing. So uh, yeah, I have to do some things behind the scenes. I have to do some flips. I actually have a little side hobby over here as you guys can see going on. And you, you know, you man just doing what he needs to do to be able to accomplish his dreams by the end of this year. If you guys have a big dream such as your man right here, just know end of the day, if you're not giving it your all, the only person you're gonna be blaming by the end of this year is yourself. I know for myself, my, my goal is, and I told all of you guys, my goal is to get an Audi all right. And if I can't accomplish that dream, as long as I know I tried my absolute best and there's not a single thing I could have changed, then I'm not gonna be so hard on myself. But at the end of the day, I know that I can always do more and that's what I'm doing. So anyways, long story short guys, we have a beautiful 335i 2011, 57,000 miles, black on red interior, M Sport package, clean title, up for sale. I have two cars that I noticed, he put it up for 18,000 with about 100,000 miles each. And uh, those cars are also clean title, but it's it looks pretty nice on the outside. One of them's actually black just like this and one of them is blue. And they're asking for 18,000 with 100,000 miles, both with black interior. This bad boy is rocking the beautiful red interior. And honestly, guys, it's literally in immaculate condition. Literally, other than that little thing there, it's in immaculate condition. The whole interior. Also, it has a honeycomb trim in here, which looks super, super, super good. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that is probably the best trim you could possibly get in each chassis. I'm gonna go ahead and detail the interior as well. It definitely needs a good detail. Another rare feature this car has is the Harman Kardon sound system, which is pretty crazy. It has the navigation, CIC, and everything in this car is working perfectly. I think the only issue is uh, one of my daytime running lights went out on the, uh, the the passenger side. That literally just went out like a couple days ago, which is kind of unfortunate. It was gonna be absolutely perfect, but that one light bulb went out, not a big deal. But yeah, I saw two other people asking 18,000 um, for a 100,000 mile M Sport. And the reason why they're asking that much is just because of how rare these cars are, let alone a low mileage one, let alone a clean example of one. End of the day is, it's still a 335 in my books. And uh, no 
knowing the price I got it for, I'm honestly gonna try to match their prices at $18,000. And this one pretty much has half the mileage, not 100K, this has 57K miles, and it is a clean title. So, for those of you guys who do wanna get this car, you're gonna be supporting your boy, and at the same time, I think it's a pretty good deal price at $18,000 for such a low mileage. And again, the only one I found with red interior, M Sport, it's just so many nice things about this car. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's one other little imperfection here. Um, it's literally just on the mirror cap, some little minor stuff on this, but just get that mirror cap replaced with some carbon fiber ones. Everything's gravy in the Navy. But yeah, without further ado guys, I was actually gonna get this car ready to be listed up for sale. So I might as well just show you guys the cleaning process. I'm gonna try to go through this, at least give it all a good wipe down from the exterior to the interior. We do need to clean off all this dirt so we can show off how beautiful this paint is, take some pictures, list her up for sale. And again, if any of you guys want it, hit me up. I might be able to actually give you guys a little bit of a better deal than I'm giving the general public. Also, for those of you guys who are kind of wondering why I have a little muffler sitting over here, this is a long story. One of you guys bought this muffler off of me on my first E92 M3 and didn't end up using it three years later. And uh, long story short, I got my hands back on it, which we need for smog inspection. So we're gonna be slapping that onto the E91 for inspection and also assistance to all the, the factory mounting brackets and everything. We're gonna be using that to help mount it onto our car and kind of fabricate all the mountings. So that is super nice. Shout out to that one follower for literally holding on to that for three years. That's why my first E92 M3 is gonna be helping our current E91 M3 build, which I think is super sick. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead, go into time-lapse mode and just start cleaning this bad boy. So now that we got the exterior looking all pretty, I think the next thing is we're gonna have to do the interior. I don't know if you guys can see on the dashboard, but it is pretty dang dirty. So uh, let's go ahead and just give this thing a good wipe down. And honestly, that's all this car really needs because everything's in really good shape, thankfully. I was in a But yeah, this video is not gonna fully revolve around this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning it all up. It's so probably honestly start working on this car. I'm gonna show you guys again. Probably honestly doing two cars in one video. Um, this was not gonna be for sale anytime soon because it is a gas saver because I do need a daily in my life, but I am gonna be showing you guys how I pretty much get this thing ready for wrap. So yeah, today's video is another day in the life of Noor of trying to make money behind the scenes off of YouTube. But yeah, oh my God, guys, this thing is so gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures of it right now, list it up for sale. Again, if any of you guys are interested, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out and pull this one in. Guys, that was a complete fail. Hopefully this piece is still usable.
this is the next day, guys. We have the E90. We finished the roof. We finished the mirror caps. We finished that rear bumper. So the last thing is this front bumper. And I know this is going to be such a pain. The front bumper is the worst part to wrap in any car. But end of the day, once we can actually knock that out, it's going to be the most satisfying thing in the world because this whole car is going to be one color. And I'm going to go ahead and detail the whole car. And we actually have some carbon fiber goodies. So I'm not going to lie. I just actually went ahead and unboxed these. I got these off of eBay because uh, not many people really sell M Sport parts, M Sport bumpers, and M Sport, uh, you know, little front lip pieces. But I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is first off, this is dipped, and this is probably one of the cheapest weaves I've ever seen in my life. Is it still kind of cool? Maybe, but it just looks super jank too. So I'm gonna slap it on just to see how it looks. But at the end of the day, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and return these. These look absolutely terrible. I honestly wish I could throw some dust on there to cover up how just fake that looks. This is real carbon fiber from Keys Motorsports. Like that just looks like the real deal. Absolutely beautiful. We had this, we had the spoiler on my brother's E90. Once I actually slapped it on the car again, if you guys actually like anything I get from Keys, uh, make sure to check out their link down below. I actually saved this thing for another E90, which we're gonna be using on this car. Uh, again, these I just picked them off on eBay because Keys did not actually have these bad boys. But I cannot believe how ugly and cheap these look. You guys can actually see it right over here. This is the one I purchased, and look how good that looks. Look at that. That looks like real carbon. What is this? What is this garbage? I don't, that's, that's very disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Like even in these pictures, guys, it looks like real carbon. So now for the time I wasn't waiting for, <laughs> let's go ahead and remove this front bumper. We have so many pieces to remove off this bumper once we actually get it off. We have so much cleaning to do. This honestly, guys, I'm prepared to spend about four to five hours on. Let's get to it. Now I'm gonna be honest guys, uh, this car, I'm not really doing the most perfect repair. Like if you guys look over here, honestly, the perfect repair would be honestly putting a little bit of Bondo on there and then putting primer and then wrapping it. Honestly, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna wrap right over that because who really cares about a little bit of imperfections behind the wrap. All this stuff, technically you're supposed to sand it down, uh, put a little body filler um, and then actually primer and then wrap it as well. This car honestly has so much paint imperfections that I'm just gonna let the next owner know like, hey, this car, it was hideous, absolutely terrible underneath the paint. And uh, you know, regardless whether I sand it up or primer or anything, the paint is still screwed underneath. So that being said, having it wrapped did help the car look aesthetically better. It does help add aesthetic years to the life of this car. Um, so that's what I'm pretty much doing for this car. Normally I don't do half jobs on my cars, but just because this car, the max it'll bring me is probably like five to $7,000. There's no point to invest so much time and effort and money into this car when I could be spending it on other cars for example, like the M3 and actually do the proper jobs on there. Because cars like those, you want to have them perfect. That being said, guys, as much as it hurts, this bumper is ready for wrap. So let's go ahead, lay in some overlays in the intersections. We're gonna be laying in some overlays in here, down here, um, in here, as well as this section right over here. And then we're gonna lay one big piece in the end to pretty much wrap it all up. So far, I spent about an hour, hour and a half cleaning this bumper, getting everything prepped up, removing everything off the car. So it's been an hour, hour and a half. I do expect with just overlays, it'll take me another hour and then wrapping it, let's just say another hour, hour and a half, and then installing it. Something like this, expect to spend about four to five hours minimum on doing this, especially if this is your first time. Now without further ado guys, I am so excited to just get into it because that's the last finishing piece for this car.
And just like that, guys, the front end is officially complete. Actually, the whole car, the mirror caps, the roof, the bumper, the trunk, every little panel on this car is officially complete. Look how good that looks. That looks absolutely insane. Now, I did have a couple issues right over here in these cracks, these corners. Um, those are always quite difficult because I didn't actually use any putty or bondo. You guys can see that. But from a distance, just standing up here, you really can't see anything. And honestly, for this car, that is good enough. This looks absolutely insane definitely going to be enjoying daily driving this thing i don't actually plan to sell this right now this is actually not a car that i plan on selling i just really wanted to get it ready to be sold if i need extra cash for the r8 but i really need a daily and this has been the absolute perfect daily and i just been tired of my car being 10 different colors so thank the lord this is looking absolutely insane i'm i am absolutely loving it look how beautiful this roof came out too that just looks super crisp we also cleaned the sunroof as well so it just looks really sharp and crisp this looks beautiful actually not to mention the rear end is my favorite check out that rear end guys <laughs> i think i'm into this car less than five thousand dollars clean title hundred and fifty thousand miles actually no one hundred and sixty thousand miles oem m sport e90 328 so i think for the money obviously we put in a lot of work but i think for the five thousand dollars definitely well worth it so now it's finally time to install the fake carbon and the real carbon so actually when i put this on right over here this is how that looks so standing from over here looks pretty dang good i mean definitely add more of an aggression to the front end of the car um should we wrap that black i don't know actually possibly i do have some black wrap but honestly who cares it is a 328 it doesn't really matter i am not going to be advertising these whatsoever but let's just go ahead and throw these on the car so three two one and just like that guys we have the splitters on there so in terms of fitment it's not terrible it's not amazing and it still looks ugly so um i'm actually i actually opened up a return request on ebay if you allow me to return them, honestly i return them and just get some black ones instead in the meantime i'm gonna leave it on the car and see what he says but you guys saw the photo on eBay. It looked nothing like these. Let me know down below, guys, from over-exaggerating, but I just feel like this just looks so fake. Like, I don't even know, dude. Anywho, and the plus side, guys, the full front end is assembled, and it looks so beautiful. I am just so, so, so happy that my car is all put together. And now for this final piece of carbon fiber, this is a real piece of carbon fiber, super light, from Keys Motorsports. Let's go ahead and throw it on the back of the car. And a few seconds later, guys, we have the carbon fiber spoiler. I'm not gonna lie, we put so much work into this car but just check that out for a daily i am very proud of this for five thousand dollars that is the budget we have almost a full black interior <laughs> i'm still trying to get some black front seats and some black rear seats we pretty much got all the black door cards black carpets black dash black center console um we just need the rear seats and the two front seats and then we're graving the navy and then obviously a full m sport clean title wrapped in narder gray i think that looks pretty dang good for the money i'm gonna go ahead and line up this semi hoopty was a hoopty this semi hoopty next to the cleanest e90 i have ever seen and i'm sure a lot of you guys have ever seen so i'm gonna set them up side by side and i just want to get a quick little picture because i think it's just super sick i think it's time for a quick cinematic Now I can actually direct my full attention to the E90 M3 in the back and the other E91 M3 in the backyard. And now with the garage super clean and ready to go, again, we are pretty much ready for these two builds. I think I'm gonna back up the M3, get it in the garage, um, at least this uh, E90 M3. When I mean to back it up because it doesn't drive right now, I mean like either push it, call over the homies or something to figure out something and just start working on the E91 because honestly, guys, we're on a time scrunch. Again, we have like less than a few months to finish that entire project. So do me a favor, guys, smash the like button if you guys are excited to see an E91 M3 Lime Rock North edition <laughs> supercharged without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all on the next one peace out